Active learning ambush. Active learning ambush. Hello and welcome to the Active Learning Ambush. I'm Tanisha Baca and I am here standing outside of the library here at GCC. I'm going to ambush one of our faculty members right now, so I will see you inside. Let's see if she's in here. <gasps> Hello, hi. Hi, Tanisha. I am ambushing you today. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> I love being ambushed. I'm Dee Dee Elrobi. I'm library faculty. Something that I do in classes to help students get comfortable with searching, and I call it pass the salt, oh. or it's, it's a low stakes language adjustment. Tell so me all about it. Let me come out and, okay. and show you. So if you kind of scan around the room, uh -huh. you can see that we have pods. So ideally, we're going to have three to four students, and each pod is going to have a tent with a really broad topic. Okay. It, right? So guns, police body cams, genetic testing, gender roles, animal testing. Okay. And the idea with Pass the Salt is... And here's my little prop. And what's cool about it is it actually is a wheeled salt shaker. So you can you can pass it. If I take it out, you'll see you've got these little wheels here on the bottom. Yeah. And so they can actually wheel it. Oh, and it makes a little what? sound. Did you hear that? Yes, I love that. <laughs> so the way that it works is <clears throat> I ask the students, you know, they come in, they get comfortable, and I ask them to leave the laptops closed for now because we just want to get to know one another break the ice. I present them with this set, uh, scenario, right? And the scenario is, imagine that it's Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. And your mom's a little bit stressed because she's been host, she's gonna be hosting this year. She has been cleaning all week, she's been cooking all week, yes. right? The good china is out on the yes, table. Uh -huh. Everybody's wearing their Sunday best. Yep. Thanksgiving finally gets here, the whole family descends, and your mother's put you on notice, don't you embarrass me. So you're sitting at the table, you're about ready to eat, and you realize that you want some salt for your mashed potatoes, but they're at the other end of the table, right? right? And so you look to your mom on Thanksgiving, in your Sunday best at her beautiful table and you say, Ma, give me the salt. Oh. <laughs> How does your mom respond to that? Not good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so this is the point where the student starts, you know, giggling or snickering or and some student will usually blurt out, Well at my house, if I talk to my mom that way, she'd throw it at me. Right. right. And I say, yeah, exactly. Mine too. What does your mom want you to say? How does your mom want you to ask for the salt? Right. right. And then they'll start sharing. Someone will say, mom, will you pass me the salt? Mom, may I have the salt? Right. Can I get the salt from you, mom? Mm -hmm. Right. Something like that. But it's, it's this concept that you want the salt. She's got it. Right. And if you ask her for the salt in a way that resonates with her, you're going to get the salt, which right. is what you want. Okay. So it's just about adjusting how you phrase what you want. Mm -hmm. And that's at the heart of what students need to do when they're moving from Google searching to going into academic resource searching. Is oh. They've got to adjust how they ask for something. Oh, and that adjustment yes. often involves thinking about their really broad concepts right. in more narrowed terms uh -huh. and stepping outside of what they think the best terminology is and considering alternative words, related terms, broader words, more narrow words, and, and being open to trying those related terms and searching for them and, and basically going into the database and asking for the information in the way that the database wants you to ask for. Oh, I love that. So here's how it works. We've got, um, let's come over here to this okay. one, Tanisha. All right. So at this table, this is the genetic testing table, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So each table's got a tent with a really broad topic on it. Okay. And what I ask the students to do is, as a group, take one to two minutes, and I'll time them because we want this to be uh, a brainstorming session, but we don't want them to overthink it, right? right? Off the top of your head, what are some related words? What are some synonyms? What are some different ways to frame, to talk about this 
idea of genetic testing. Okay. And then they have a marker and uh -huh. a sheet of paper. Okay. And what they do is, as a group, in their one to two minutes, is they jot down as many alternate words and related terms as they can think of. Okay. And once their time is up, we hit the buzzer. Oh, right? I love that. <laughs> and, and they like hitting that buzzer. Let yeah, me tell you, right? I, yeah, I love that buzzer. They like hitting that buzzer, and they share back with the group, okay, we're the genetic testing team, mm -hmm. and these are the terms we came up with. Okay. Stem cell research, prenatal experimentation, cloning, mm -hmm. genetic modification. Okay. Now, here's how Pass the Salt works. After the genetic testing team has shared with the group what they came up with, they realize there might be other words out there. There might be different ways to talk about this topic that we're not thinking of, mm -hmm. right? So they pass the salt. So one of the team members from genetic testing gets up and passes the salt to either the gun table, okay. the body cam table, or maybe the gender role table. Alrighty. So when they pass the salt to the gender role table, these folks have been working on alternate words for gender roles, right? Right. Now what the gender role people have to do is they have to come up with alternate words for genetic testing. Oh. They've got to think about their topic because what the genetic testers want is they want to find out how other people conceptualize the topic. Okay. And again, it's time. So this group comes over here, they've got their paper, they've got their marker, they work together, they start throwing out terms, they brainstorm, they jot down as much as they can on their paper until this team hits their buzzer and then says, okay, tell us what you got. Then we go table by table. So the gender role teams passes the salt to animal testing. Okay. And gender role says you've got one minute to come up with four alternate terms that we could use for our topic. And so then what students end up with is they've got their original terms that they brainstormed, mm -hmm. alternative terms that other classmates came up with, and now they've got this rich array of different keywords, subject terms, narrower terms, broader words, synonyms that they can then use when we go in and we start searching in a database. So it's a lot of fun. It's very tactile, yes. it's visual, there's, there's noise, and it really serves to help the students feel comfortable in the space, kind of loosen up, mm -hmm. be willing to have a conversation, throw terms over their shoulders and engage right. with people in other parts of the room, and it kind of removes that, that embarrassment factor, that I have a question, but I don't want to say it out loud because I don't want people thinking I'm dumb, right? It really lessens that effect, mm -hmm. and it helps us segue into actually going into the database and searching and talking about things like how do you structure, how do you limit, mm -hmm. how do you refine your results? And the students are more engaged, they feel more comfortable with me, they feel comfortable engaging with one another, and it's a lot of fun. Before I leave, I need to do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I couldn't resist myself. I had to do it. <laughs> it feels good. It does. It? it does. I'm yeah. doing it again. Oh. Thank you so much. Uh, you you have a great. Day. You have a great day. Thank you. Bye, Thank you so much for joining me for the Active Learning Ambush. I just left the library. I'm so excited that Dee Dee had so much to share. Hopefully, it was helpful to you as much as it was helpful to me. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Till we meet again.